Hello, my name's Julian Edgar, and I'm the author of the book, Car Electrical and Electronic Systems. What I want to do in today's video is talk about pull-up resistors and pull-down resistors. Now, if you've had anything to do with programmable engine management, you'll be probably familiar with those terms, because sometimes you have to select a pull-up, sometimes you have to select a pull-down, sometimes you have to select nothing, and that's normally on a digital input. But what does it really mean? What, what, what is the function of those pull-ups and pull-downs? It all sounds a bit bizarre. Let's see if we can sort it out. So I've got a diagram here that shows an ECU, an electronic control unit, and it's got an input, and that input is connected via a switch to ground. Now that could be a driver selection switch to change maps in the engine management system or something of that sort. The driver flicks the switch when they want to tell the ECU something. But let's have a look how we've got it set up at the moment. Here's the input coming into the ECU. What happens though when that switch is open? Now you might say, well there's zero volts on the input. But it's floating, and a floating input to an ECU to the microprocessor is not good. It'll pick up noise, it could pick up random signals, we don't want it like that. So what we do is we add, in this case, a pull-up resistor. Let me draw that in. Now, the other side of that pull-up resistor is connected to 5 volts, internal 5 volt regulator supply. Let's look at what happens now. When the switch is open, as it's shown here, the input now sees 5 volts. It's not floating anymore. When we close the switch, we pull that input back down to ground. So we can either see ground, 0 volts, or 5 volts, depending on the position of the switch. It's never floating. Now, if you're saying to yourself, but when that switch is closed, isn't there a short circuit to ground? No, because here we have a resistor. And that's a high value resistor that lets only a tiny amount of current flow. So there's no drama. So here is a pull up resistor. It pulls the input up to 5 volts when otherwise it would be on zero. Pull up resistor. I wonder if you can now have a, have a bit of a think and see what you think a pull down resistor is. So here, let's draw now a pull down resistor. Now we have it pulling down to ground. Now it doesn't make sense over here anymore, does it? Because we've got ground or ground, depending on the position. So here, let's change it to being a 5 volt supply. Now you can see why sometimes we need a pull down. If we're switching a voltage into the ECU, with it open, it's pulled down to ground. With it closed, it's pulled to 5 volts. So a pull down resistor is connected to ground. A pull-up resistor is connected to a voltage supply. So whether you select a pull-down or pull-up depends on whether you're feeding in a voltage or whether you're connecting it to ground. Pull-up and pull-down resistors, uh, they're, they're interesting things to keep in mind. For example, if you're adding an interceptor and you're uh, wanting to uh, connect a, to a coolant temperature sensor or something like that, and the interceptor has got a pull-up in it, then you end up with two pull-ups. You have the resistors fighting each other. So it's very good to keep in mind whether you're running a pull-up or a pull-down and the reasons why you are running either of those configurations on an ECU input. The book's called Car Electrical and Electronic Systems. I cover pull-up resistors, I cover pull-down resistors and show you why they're actually needed in that book. Thank you.